head, the gates are now open. Where have I seen this composition before? <laughs> That's true. And maybe that is the matchup that M2KC really wanted into the Super Frogs. Maybe the Super Frogs was looking to set up this Frost Mage Destruction Warlock Restoration Druid. And M2KC, Method Orange, they do have a solid answer. I could definitely see this working. All right, let's see how they can play it out. Sam I am finally being utilized here. We didn't even see him on the top three compositions played by Method Orange on their stats page. So potentially an opportunity for Sam I am to come in clutch for the team of Method Orange. Decent aggression on Wealthy Man early on as Iron Bark has faded. The defense is no longer there, but Sam I am has been pulled into center field, and Sidu looks to deny a kill there by dropping there the wall to him. Nice death grip into Psychic Scream. It's not very often we see the Death Knight paired with the Shadow Priest, but the death grip to pull opponents close to the Shadow Priest for crowd control is definitely a deadly strategy. We see a bit of cooldown overlap early on from the team of Method Orange in exchange for Channel's Infernals with having committed the Anti-Magic Zone and the Dispersion. This is a mistake that we saw from the Mew Mew Kitty Cats as well when facing the Super Frog, so I'm curious to see if the Frogs can look to punish. Yeah, we'll definitely have to see, and this is the problem. Look at Chanimal. In this matchup, he's just doing whatever he wants, and that is not the best situation for Method Orange. They're trying to pressure down Wealthy Man, take advantage of the fact that Samayam can spam to spell on that Shadow Priest with some of the recent changes to the mana reduction, but if you just let Chanimal do whatever he wants, look at him, just Chaos Bolt into Mortal Coil. Ch Samayam getting low. He trinkets out, fades. What is Sidu going to do? There's the Polymorph looking for the Spear Link. Does manage to find it. But things are looking really good here for the Super Frogs. Cooldowns one by one begin to fall for Method Orange. Sam I am tagged in and not looking too hot here in game number one as the Super Frogs have complete control. Method Orange now pinned down at the pillar, looking to stall as long as possible for vital defensive cooldowns, such as the dispersion available in 17 seconds. But of course, Chanimal does not want to allow that stall to happen, dropping a demonic gateway, denying the death grip of Mez, able to escape to safety. I would like to see Wealthy Man and Chanimal split up, having both of them on one side of the pillar allows Method Orange to easily swing around to the other. But if they split up, they don't have that option. Cubsy also running the Feral Affinity, adding in a bit of extra damage onto Mez as he overextends Mez basically being a damage sponge for his team here in center field which is all in good before dampening but mana is full on Cubsy and if you can't start taxing that down and dampening gets too high then Mez can't tank as much damage as he is currently and inevitably the Super Frogs hold this position they're likely to take game number one yeah, Sam I am has his defensive cooldowns rotated back up so he needs to play a little bit more aggressive in this matchup like we kind of talked about Mez, he can be a damage soak for the time being, but as the game goes on a little bit later, he no longer really has that option on the Death Knight. Wealthy Man and Chanimal should be able to easily deflect his attacks. Cubsy, a little bit earlier on, sat down for a drink, and when you see Method Orange run and hide behind the pillar, that's a perfect opportunity for the Super Frogs to sort of turn it up in center field, allow Cubsy to sneak away, get out of combat, drink, and regenerate his mana. I think that's going to be really important for the Super Frog and the Method Orange want to maintain a mana lead in this matchup. They need to make sure that Cubsy's never able to get that comfortable. Sam Ayam makes a push. They get Cubsy's Glyre's Medallion, but now they're overextended, and Cubsy is dishing out a ton of extra damage, potentially enough to crack through the dispersion of Sam Ayam. Sam Ayam feared off, trying to deny the Void Shift if possible. CD reconvenes around the corner, able to line of sight potential interrupts and start to stabilize Sam Ayam, but his mana is not looking good. Cubsy is easily relaxing on the other side of the pillar, drinking back to full mana himself. Now, with the next push, basically everything pivots around Sam I Am's silence, which is now available should they recover to be able to actually initiate an attack. The silence is very important. You'll see a psychic horror into a silence, into a psychic scream, and that combination of crowd control from the Shadow Priest with Void Form boosting his damage is when we want to see Method Orange get aggressive. So they jump into Void Form. This could be an opportunity to push for crowd control, but they're on the back foot as Sidu got caught in a polymorph. Chanimal looks to follow up potentially with fears denied for now by Mez. Sam Am goes for that psychic horror as Cubsy overextended to try and add some extra damage. Now as he's overextended, he's uh, susceptible to crowd control. Still not enough to really hammer down too much pressure. I'm curious if the strategy for Method Orange is to try and just do these crowd control setups, burn as many cooldowns as they can, save Sidu's mana until deep, deeper into dampening, and then go for an all-in purge tactic with both the Shadow Priest and the Shaman bringing purge and try and overwhelm the team of the Super Frog 
frogs. This could be potential for them as a strategy, but so far Cubsy is keeping a level head for the late game, constantly looking to get drinks and regenerate mana back to full so that if that situation happens, he can go one-on-one -on -one with that exchange. Infernals have landed, and Chanimal looks to ramp. Yeah, definitely Chanimal looking for some damage, and once again, Method Orange in full retreat behind the pillar. Wealthy Man dropping a Blizzard, dropping a Frozen Orb, just really tearing in and taxing Sidhu's mana quite a bit. Cubsy once again getting comfortable, getting in stealth, getting in cat form. He's sitting down for a drink. Superfrog's going straight to full mana. That's going to give them a massive lead. Mez looking to shut that down. I believe he did do so with the Death and Decay, but I think Cubsy did manage to regenerate more than enough mana. Now full Polymorph secured on the Sidhu. Keep in mind, Sidhu's playing relentless in this mat uh, matchup, so he doesn't have the Gladiator's Medallion. Breakout of crowd control. All of this crowd control will sit full. Power control push for the team of Method Orange looks solid. Once again, getting the Gladiator's Medallion. Potentially even more. Wealthy Man uses the Demonic Gateway to get to safety. And as Dampening begins to ramp, Mez can't play out in center field as much as he is or else risks his own life, which is likely to be the main target for the Super Frogs. Cubsy trying to restealth, maybe potentially, if he can pull far enough away. They've left Channel open for most of this fight, even despite the recent uh, reductions to Destruction Warlocks. Still quite potent against magic damage, which is effectively all of the damage that Method Orange have brought with this composition. Sandman looks for Master Spell, managed to land it. That's Shadow Fury one second too late, but they get the follow up Polymorph, and Sandman still in trouble. Yeah, definitely in a little trouble with, with Dispersion. Should be able to keep himself alive. How greedy is he going to play it? There it is, the Mortal Coil, Dispersion forced out, Bash, Chaos Bolt, enough. Force Method Orange is a little bit scared. Sam, I am feeling confident though, he's gonna be moving in, Psychic Horror, potentially into a Psychic Scream, into a Silence, but where's the damage? Wealthy Man seeming to be fine. Finally, Void Eruption gonna be used by Sam, I am looking for some pressure. Wealthy Man responds with the Temporal Shield immediately dispelled off by Sam, I am. Silence on a Cubsy, but he left a little gap in the crowd control, and that was enough time for Cubsy to get out the Iron Bark and keep Wealthy Man alive. And that's starting to even out, at least for Method Orange. They've been having a difficult time with the Super Frogs in tournament play. This Destruction Warlock Frost Mage composition is one that they have not been able to find an answer, which is why they are attempting this composition in the first place, the Unholy Death Knight. Shadow Priest trying to take advantage of some of the recent utility mana cost reductions to the Shadow Priest to try and allow some more offensive dispels and aggressive moves with that. But so far, they really haven't been able to crack the code just yet here in game number one. And as Dampening gets higher and higher, Mez becomes more of a liability in this fight. I'm curious to see if they can take Wealthy Man down before that point in time. They managed to dispel off the Temporal Shield before it could get any effectiveness. Cubsy holding on to Iron Bark, waiting for Cloud Control. The one disadvantage of Sam I am is that on the Shadow Priest, he moves so slowly across the field that his positioning is predictable. And Cubsy can see him coming and predict with Iron Bark right as he gets in range to Cloud Control. Cubsy jumping into the center of the starting area to sit down for a drink. And oh no. Sam I am's not able to find him or hit him with anything. The Death and Decay is no. one millimeter off hitting. Cubsy regenerates huge mana. Sidhu locked down in Crowd Control. Sam I am in trouble. Mana throw away, close call. Crowd control, control continues to follow through. Sam Am disperses on low health, still locked down in center field. If there's an interrupt for Sidhu, two more seconds on Channel's spell lock. In the meantime, Sam Am tries to counterattack, silencing up Cubsy, bursting down Wealthy Man, but now he's caught in center field. Infernals have entered the battle. If they don't deny Channel on these Chaos Bolts, I'm not sure if they're gonna make it out alive. Yeah, definitely Sam I Am. Method Orange, Sidhu, Mez, they're all just tanking full damage. Anti-Magic Zone gets traded out by Mez. Keep Sam I Am alive. Once again, Wealthy Man looking for the Polymorph, finds it onto Sidhu into a full fear from Chanimal. Nice interrupt by Mez, good backup to keep Sam I Am alive from that Chaos Bolt, but Chanimal looking for another. Manages to find one, can he find another? Void Shift, uh, actually not traded, that was a Spirit Link totem, so Sam I Am still has that very important Void Shift. He can trade his hit points with someone else on his team at any moment. He needs to make sure you have his Gladiator's Medallion available to do that, as that is really the last line of defense for Method Orange. All right, Mez and Sam I Am Sidhu all in center field, not where you'd normally want to be when facing a Destruction Warlock, but they have to cross as Cubsy's constantly baiting to potentially sit down for a drink. Fortunately, Mez with decent pet control has that ghoul chasing Cubsy around the map, and that should be enough to keep him in combat unless he can escape here and drop. He's looking to try and re-stealth. 
Not sure if the ghoul is going to get there in time. Mana not looking too hot here for Method Orange. Cubs in cat form. Chanimal just dishing out devastation. And Semi in trouble. Has to make a decision. Fades the Chaos Bolt. Immunes its effect. Mez Wraith walks in to stop the drink. Gets feared off. Good denial by Chanimal. Huge damage on Semi. And Mez and Semi just want to stop the drink. But they push in and they don't manage to do it. And they trade defense to accomplish effectively nothing. Putting them so far behind. Yeah, 30% dampening though. The Shadow Priest death knight damage might be huge. Cubsy needs to maintain his mana. Sam Lamb's going to be able to use a lot of offensive dispels with the dispel magic on that Shadow Priest. And if he can do so later on in dampening with the added damage of that unholy Death Knight, I could easily see Channel falling. Maybe Method Orange is playing to their win condition. They just have to wait for a little bit longer in the game because it is going to be eventually difficult for Channel to escape Mez on that Death Knight with Chains of Ice, with Death Grip. And I can see the pressure sort of snowballing out of control in favor of Method Orange. Cubs uses that Glyer's Medallion onto that crowd control chain. Caught on the back end of a silence, but definitely not long enough to accomplish too much here for Method Orange. Sam I am fades another Chaos Bolt, immuning its damage. Good reaction time, but Dampening is ramping up so high. It's going to be difficult for CD to recover. He's got basically no mana left, and Smith just got feared into midfield by Chanimal. That could set up the team of Super Frogs to try and just destroy him. Cedar repositions, catches a healing wave over onto Mez, but he's very far overextended. So you're trying to reposition. Not much defense really. Actually, there's enough for Mez to survive. He's trying to stay aggressive with it. The pet control has been a little bit off from Mez as Cubsy's been able to sneak away quite frequently in cat form. I would definitely like to see Cubsy kept in combat better moving forward if this is the composition that Method Orange want to utilize for the rest of the series. Chanimal secures a Shadow Fury onto two members. Mez gets bursted down, and that 40% magic number for Death Knights is all but imminent. They have a significant mana lead, and it's looking better for the Super Frogs. Yeah, interrupt on Sidu. Mez caught in center field. One mana at a glance from Cubsy. He's just spamming Solar Wrath. All three members of Super Frogs just teeing off on Mez. What is he going to do? There's a full bash. Mez trying to stay alive with the Icebound Fortitude. He has the Anti-Magic Zone as well. Void Shift still in Sam I Am's back pocket if he needs it. Mez catches a few heals, but this is the point in the game where Method Orange, they can't retreat. They need to start finding some pressure. Polymorph on Sidu, another one found. Silence now on Cubsy as they're looking to turn it around on the channel, but Mez just has to play way too defensive. Chaos Bolt gets grounded. Anti-Magic Zone denies some of the follow-up damage as well. Another Chaos Bolt flying in, straight towards Sam I Am. Huge hit, connects. Cedar has to recover th three members of the team, but with Ascendance, he should be able to do so, unless a cheeky blink counterspell or something. Not available for either Channel or Wealth Man. Cedar should be able to recover. Struggling, though, because Dampening is just so high at this point, with 44% now entering the battle. Icy Veins available for Wealthy Man in less than a minute. Another Polymorph secured. Where's the Master Spell? Sam I am not going for it. Instead, trying to get aggressive. A bit of an overextension. Cubsy jumps away from the crowd control chain. Chanimal still gets bursted. Chanimal in trouble. Iron Bark starts to stabilize him, but Mez is really chopping him up. Sam I am falling behind as well amidst all of this. Grounding Totem available for Sea He drops the Spirit Link Totem to try and get his team to make a push, but I'm not sure that they have the damage to push him over. If they can't kill Chanimal here, I don't think they're ever going to kill him. So we're at 50% dampening. What is Sam I am going to do? Grip into Asphyxiate, into his Veer, onto Cup. The Heatrink gets out into a Silence. Chanimal still just so healthy in this matchup, holding on to unending resolve. Sam I am forcing his version. Things spiraling out of control for Method Orange. Is he doing a Polymorph? Mez caught in center field as Chanimal looks for a Chaos Bolt. Well, they managed free casting this entire game on this Frost Mage. And I really don't know if CD's going to be able to keep Mez healthy. He has the anti-magic shell, but it's not going to be doing too much of 50% dampening. All right, Mez, how much longer can you hold on? Cedar totally taps Sam I Am low as well. There's pressure on Cubsy, but he's positioned far away from the fight. Sam I Am's getting bursted. Cedar doesn't have much to work with. Two members below 10%. If they void shift, then Sidu could die. Trying to catch a couple of Shadow Men's, but they need to stop Cubsy from drinking. They basically got them a checkmate. They're stacked up in a triple frozen orb. Earthen Wall Totem appears to be enough for now, but still no recovery for one more second. Sam I Am's Vampiric Embrace, if he can combine that with Void Form, could be enough for his team to stabilize in the fight, create maybe one more opportunity for a push. They drop the Abomination. They go all out on Chanimal. Cubsy denies it with Iron Bark. Wealthy Man realizing the danger starts polymorphing Mez. Chanimal now looks to counter-aggress with that Dark Soul. Let's see if it's enough. Mez 
Austin nice to kill with the anti-magic zone. This needs to be enough defense. They cannot afford to overlap. They are somewhat developing pressure on Chanimal. If Method Orange can somehow stall and keep this game going just a tad bit longer, there may they may have potential, but no, huge chaos ball connects, no void shift, throw away on Sam I Am's part, but this composition at least showed more pressure than anything else we've seen from the Method Orange over the World Finals at the end of the year. You can win one of the LAN events, which Method Orange have qualified for, or you can accumulate the most amount of points, which you get by winning these cups. So if Method Orange fall out here, they fall out very early on. They'll lose out on even further opportunities to get points. The boys and the Super Frogs will continue leaping ahead of them, and should they need to rely on points to qualify, that will then no longer be an option. So it's very important for Method Orange to not lose this series here today, even though they've already qualified for spring finals. Yeah, wealthy man under fire early on. Iron Bark is tossed out by Cubsy to keep him alive. Innervate as well wants to get out additional healing without taxing his mana too much. Sidu caught into the fear, and actually Sidu, he's been throwing in a lot of purges in this matchup so far. Now caught into a fear, and potentially Mez and Trill, if they can just stick onto Wealthy Man with the added purges from Sidu, maybe they can cut through some of those defensives. You can see Cubsy already sitting in cap form, looking for potential restealth, but no Trill all over him, denies that. Cubsy's mana still looking good. I just am curious, who is Method Orange going to be going after? It looks like Wealthy Man for now is the target as Trill's playing rain from above honor talent. Not the most effective, and he can also be attacked by both Channel and Wealthy Man while he's in the sky. And I'm curious if he's going to get blasted mid-air later in the game. Cubsy's just going to be running away looking for drinks constantly to distract his opponents, but they don't Ooh. fall for the distraction. Instead, they just go for a big push and net themselves an ice this block. Nice moves from Method Orange. Is Trill even playing Mana Rift? I don't... I think he may have actually dropped it, and Method Orange, they're changing up their game plan. Instead of Trill chasing down Cubsy, we'll definitely have to see if we see any Mana Rifts, but... I think it could be intelligent. Play rain from above, it's just added damage. It's free damage that you get. It's unavoidable from Wealthy Man. Guess what? You're caught in a Frost Nova, you go up in the sky, you shoot these Chaos Bolts on Wealthy Man, he's not going to be able to kite those. So I think it's smart from Method Orange and that they can make that offensive push. They've already cut through one ice block from Wealthy Man. And Cubsy's mana is not doing great. No, it certainly is not. And on hook point, they should be able to deny him from drinking. Potentially, Method Orange could pull this off. They've got a good lead, but Cubsy far away from the fight, sitting down for a drink. Where's the pet control? Was he able to shadow meld? In the meantime, Mez is in trouble. Barely getting that reverse magic polymorph. Cubsy's likely going back to full mana. Although maybe exchange for an ice block. Rain from above. Trill trying to add in some extra damage. Huge pressure. Can they get an ice block? Temporal Shield bounces back. Iron Bark appears to be enough. The one advantage of that rain from above is that it does percentage-based damage, which is of utmost importance in the current meta, as Azurite Gear has increased stamina in patch 8.1.5. So any percentage-based health attacks actually deal devastation. So this is what Trill is trying to capitalize on when running this rain from above. It was almost enough to force the second ice block, and this tactic change from Trill might be important for them to find victory. Yeah, might be able to catch Cubsy off. Off guard. He is playing relentless to avoid those mana rifts. And Trill says to heck with it. He's not even going to run it. At the orange, still with good pressure here. Wealthy Man does get topped off, but Cubsy's burning through his mana. He sat down for a drink, recovered a lot of it, but seated with the offensive dispel. It's just the outright pressure that Mez and Trill have. It's difficult right now for Super Frogs to really get too much momentum. Cubsy once again in cat form, looking to get away, look for a potential drink. Is he going to be able to find it? No. Method Orange shuts it down, and that's exactly what they need to do. It has to be on the back of Sidu. Drops down that Earth Elemental. That's going to deny Cubsy from getting out of combat for quite some time. Good placement. Good pressure on the Wealthy Man. But Whoa, Sidu getting caught into a stun, into a Mortal Coil. Great damage from Channel, forcing out quite a bit. But I think Sidu should be A-OK. -okay. Managed to catch Sidu in midfield and throw a ton of damage his way. Mana not looking too hot here. But Cubsy now gets swapped up and stun locked by Trill as well. Rain from above is available. Curious to see when Trill decides to commit this for a big push, maybe after two blinks, if he has no way to connect. Uh, he may use this at that time. Mana's evened out here. Still anyone some fight. Dampening, though, not in the match, so unlikely that Mez will go down. Death Strike is super effective. We do see the rain from above. How is Wealthy Man going to avoid this? Looks like he's just going to tank it out. Trill just raining down Fell Lances. Bursting Wealthy Man, Iron Park gets traded by Cubsy. Sidu gets on top of Cubsy. Wondering what he's trying to do other than just deny the drink. Mana totally even, although in that regard, we would say that Method Orange are ahead. Good map selection, good execution so far, and Method Orange continue to establish their lead. Yeah. 
Method Orange with a significant lead right now. Sidu hasn't had to sit down for a drink at all. Cubsy consistently having to run away. Mez actually under fire, taking some pressure, but still Mez and Trill without dampening. They're going to be able to heal themselves up quite a bit in this matchup. Cubsy looking to sneak away. Mez denies it. Beautifully done by Method Orange. Really playing into that wind condition quite a bit more uh, in this particular matchup as opposed to the Grand Arena. And I do like the strategy change. I like the composition change. Method Orange switching it up, not really relying on that mana rift, and they're taxing Cubsy's mana all the same. And they're definitely having a lot more pressure on a wealthy man. He is running the mana rift. Trill Lanny, another mana rift on a Cubsy, bursting him down with the Maledict play. This is a huge all in for Method Orange, but now they get deflected by Chanimal, who is ramping up huge. He's going to be doing huge chaos bolts pretty soon. Who's he going to target is the question. I'd love to see a swap to Sidu again and try and catch him off guard. He's in midfield with that Ursul's Vortex. Doesn't look like they're going after Sidu just yet. Chanimal's fully ramped up. He goes for the Mortal Coil. Connects the Chaos Bolt with the Flurry. They are going after Sidu. He sees it coming. Gets the Astral Oh, no! Spell. He's one inch out of the anti-magic zone. Chanimal gets denied on the burst. Multiple Gliars, Maledicts. Cooldown the overlap. Huge cooldown overlap from Method Orange. Sidu still struggling to recover. Counterspell available on both members, Welty and Chanimal. Sidu needs to deal with that. Still has managed to recover despite it. Mana now in more favor for Sidu. Cubsy needs to find a way to reset that if they want to find a kill on Mez deeper into dampening. Fear onto Sidu. Wealthy man with frozen orb dealing huge damage, but Death Strike more than enough to bounce back in the fight. It, it appears to me that Super Frogs only have one option, that is to kill Sidu on this map in particular. So Sidu needs to be aware of that and position maybe less aggressively, but at the same time, he still has to stop Cubsy from drinking. So it's a catch 22. Uh, what is he going to do? Is he going to push forward, stop the drinks, risk his own life? It's going to be a difficult task, but he has to pull it off if he wants to find victory. In the meantime, he actually has to keep Mez alive as well. Mez under heavy fire. Chanimal free casting in this matchup. Unable to, or able to do a lot of damage on that Destruction Warlock. Now Cubsy completely tapped on mana. Still securing a mana rift onto Wealthy Man. Still decent pressure here. Chanimal finds a fear onto Sidu. Mez could be in some trouble. Darkness gets dropped out by Trill, but it's an insignificant darkness. Easily Super Frogs could push through it. It's not that cover of darkness on her talent. Oh. Cubsy looking for a hibernate on the Sidu. Mez getting low. Wealthy Man taking quite a bit of pressure as well, but Wealthy Man's recovered his, uh, his cold snap, oh. so he actually has two ice blocks available once again. And although Super Frog is completely tapped on mana, at least they have that little bit of defense from Wealthy Man coming back up. Trill got feared on his rain from above, and it brought him right back down to the ground. Now that Chanimal maybe has found that, he could deny the rain from above from Trill throughout and eliminate that threat. But Cubsy's totally tapped on mana. Only two ice blocks left, and that's basically it for defense. Cubsy needs to try and get a drink, but there's tons of pressure mounting. Method Orange are looking good. They forced the first ice block, unfortunately committing the Glyer's Maledict in that push. Now that threat won't be there for Wealthy Man. Was that a cold snap? ice block no no okay it's just the first ice block still one remaining but even still at 16 percent dampening not high enough to kill the death knight just yet and there's no mana really for cubsy to make it to that point cd's been doing a good job uh, babysitting cubsy and keeping mez alive at the same time as not exposing his position in center field as he is likely the main target for the super frogs before that 40 percent dampening mark which is the magic number to kill the Death Knight and even the Demon Hunter to an extent in this particular matchup. Anti-magic zone available. That's likely to be the next defense for Mez. He needs to be ready and waiting to initiate that. Multiple Gliders Maledicts dispelled instantly by Cubsy. Cubsy sneaks away. Sidu trying to get after him, but now overextended, caught in a polymorph, an opportunity to take out Mez. Do they have enough damage to do it, Ben? I don't know. One Chaos Bolt lands. Mez responds with the anti-magic zone. Infernal's cast out by Chanimal as well. Big pressure, big damage available for the Super Frogs. Wealthy Man on 40% health. Cubsy, no Iron Bark, no mana left. But Mez might fall first. Sidu has to keep him alive. He has Spirit Link coming up in four seconds. Can they hold on for another four seconds? Earthen Shield Totem looking to deny some of the damage. Sidu finds a healing wave, connects it on Mez. Huge heal. Mez goes to full HP instantaneously. Things are looking good for Method Orange. Oh, that was a Spearling Totem, Ascendance, and a Healing Tide Totem. That was the three three-minute timers from the Restoration Shaman. So Cedar will not have access to that recovery likely again in this fight. That might have been an overextension on his part, and I'm curious to see if the Super Frogs can punish it, but they're still on the back foot with zero mana left in the tank. It's all on Chanimal. How much pressure can he get going? One Chaos Bolt connects onto Mez. They have answers. Cedar is still trying to babysit Cubsy. He's got to heal Mez at the same time. Well, Ultimate gets bursted. This could be the second and final ice block of the match. Iron Bark 
They need to rely on it. Will it be enough defense? Chanimal trying to crack Mez. Will it be enough? Doesn't appear to be. Ultiman still dips low. Fires Maledict dispelled and removed instantly. Trill gets denied on his high beam. Mez gets bursted by Chanimal because it's a race to the finish. Rain from above from Trill. That's going to be a ton of damage that Cubsy simply does not have mana to heal. Second ice block forced on 1%. Full polymorph on Sidu. Trouble on both sides. Yeah, Mez low. Tries to get behind the pillar. Seer, uh, Fear secured onto Sidu. Mez still just trying to avoid line of sight the best he can. Rhea Frost gets interrupted. Nice denial there by Mez. Mortal Coil, though, forced to trinket out as well as Mez still just line of sighting while Sidu sits on all this different crowd control. What is Mez going to do? Wealthy Man drops the Frozen Orb. Mez forced to run in. Get in the face of Chanimal, but Chanimal drops to Gladiator's Maledict. I don't know if Mez can he recover. Shadow it. Cubsy moves in, in cat form, trying to close out the game. Wealthy Man finally spamming out some Frost Wolves. Method Orange may have Another run out one. of time. See who gets locked out. Mez has nothing left, and despite them building a lead throughout the fight, they're inevitably going to get closed out by a Chaos Bolt. Super Frogs move to match points. Oh, man, this, this is uh, it's in the year. If they keep up these trajectories and if Method Orange stays flat, Method Orange wants to get this reverse sweep. They want to put Super Frogs in their place, start setting that first place team behind and start getting their own momentum rolling. Curious to see how Cubsy utilizes the map here on Dalaran Sewers. With this upper platform level, you can jump down the side in the center, and pets can't follow you in a straight line. So the ghoul that Mez normally has chasing Cubsy will have to walk all the way around, down a staircase, and all the way back into center, whereas Cubsy can just go right off the side, and that might give him enough time to drop combat, get into stealth, and drink more often, which is why we saw Hook Point, which is the best map for Method Orange, which they didn't win. So in here on Dalaran Sewer is still going to be difficult. Seems like neither team is really interested in making an aggressive well, push early on. I, this benefits the Super Frogs. It has to. I don't really know, to be honest with you. We've seen Method Orange make all-in pushes on the Chanimal. And I think if Sidu has a full mana bar at 30, 40, 50% dampening, then they can take down Chanimal. I mean, Trill, Mez are going to have a lot of uptime. They have a lot of defensive cooldowns that they can rotate through in this particular matchup. Um, and my, my major curiosity is, I guess both teams feel like they have an advantage if the game goes on late enough, but I feel like for Super Frogs, they have to kind of slowly work through a lot of those defensives Method Orange has. I'm, I'm wondering what they're thinking, because I mean, the Soul Leech healing and the Death Strike healing from Mez is more potent before dampening. Why would you not want to fight before dampening, try and run Cubsy out of mana, and then make a push in dampening? I just... I'm not following what advantage that you get as Method Orange by trying to stall in this position, which is why I think the Super Frogs are like, all right, we're chilling. We're just going to wait then because if we have full mana and dampening, we win. Maybe they're just going to chase them down. They try and get on top of Method Orange. They reposition. They catch Trill out in the open. Chaos Bolt, though, gets grounding totemed. Good denial from Sidu. Mez is trying to retreat, gets feared into center field. A little bit unfortunate. Oh, Chaos Bolt is going to connect. I don't think it's going to be too pivotal in here in this moment in time. Frozen Orb committed. Maybe now we see Method Orange mount up and go in after the Frozen Orb. That could be an opening to just get some damage for free. But at this point, reluctant. I mean, the only option is that Sidu doesn't run out of mana either. And yeah. maybe if Sidu has full mana and dampening and can purge, th that's the only thing that makes sense for them to do what they're doing. I think that's exactly what they want to do. Eventually, Chanimal won't be able to escape. Trill, Mez, they'll be able to chase him down. And I don't know, you really can't blame Method Orange in the situation. They're trying to play the map to what they feel is their advantage. Like we kind of talked about, Method Orange, they want to start putting as many points on the board as possible. Both these teams have already qualified to the Spring Finals, but for Method Orange, if they can knock down the number one point-earning team, that just allows them, knock them out of the tournament, that just allows them to slowly start getting back into a favorable position. We're in season number two. They might be able to actually pass Super Frogs and be that number one point earning spot so they don't have to win a land tournament to secure their spot to BlizzCon. Yeah, the overall point standings could get flipped here if the Super Frogs are eliminated early on, although it's looking unlikely at this point. If the Super Frogs can manage to pull off this tournament, though, they will significantly be in the lead and even more likely to qualify on points if they don't have a top performance at land, but I do expect them to have that as well. Mez gets caught. Earthen Wall Totem from Sidu appears to be enough to deny the damage to find a kill. Wealthy Man gets gripped into the pillar, so Method Orange finally starting to get some momentum rolling here, but Wealthy Man escapes to safety. Channel catches a couple Chaos Bolts. Sidu denies the second. It does appear to be that Method Orange are going to start attacking, but they've overextended while Sidu's in crowd control. Could be devastating. Mez gets Mortal Coiled. Fortunately, still in line of sight. Wealthy Man goes for a Polymorph, gets denied by Sidu. Goes for a Polymorph again, lands it. 
Reverse magic. Drill breaks up the chain. Miz makes the trade regardless with that anti-magic shield. So far, the Super Frogs, they're in a good position even without dampening. Mez realizing this pulls back to the boxes and I would say that Method Orange are looking shaky here on match point. Well, Trill used the metamorphosis, so that gives me the impression that Method Orange wants to try to get aggressive. Trill once again using the rain from above, getting some damage rolling onto Wealthy Man. And my major question is who are they going to be going after? We saw on hook point, Wealthy Man was the main target of choice for them. Well, the Wealthy Man did end up having a nice block at the end of the game. Mez in the open for way too long. Spirit Link Totem traded out by Sidu. Method Orange is falling apart. I mean, this is just devastating. They're blowing through cooldowns so fast. Everything, basically, at this point, before dampening has even started, which is atypical with the Death Knight in the match. This is not what you expect to see. Method Orange are really hoping that they can stall for a purge uh, assault really later into the game, I'm guessing, but they're not even making it to dampening. They're just getting, oh, nice pre-tremor by Sidu, starting to put things back together, breaking up the crowd control. There is dampening. That is what Method Orange have been waiting for, but what percent? How much experience do they have in this matchup? Because you have to be precise with the amount of dampening that you go for that all in. Because as soon as you purge and spend your mana, you're not getting it back. So they need to know exactly what percentage of dampening calculated out for a push to overwhelm them. They need to know what target. Is it the mage with two ice blocks? I don't think that it is. Maybe it's Cubsy as he's running Feral Affinity. Could be an option. We see pressure on two members here. Cubsy starting to struggle a bit, falling behind on mana. Sidu tossing in a couple of purges already though early on. I do think Cubsy may be the target. We saw Trill tossing Fell Lances at Cubsy, softening him up a bit, maybe for a death grip into a stun afterwards. That could be an option for Method Orange. Sidu is sitting down for a drink. He's getting mana back. Frozen Orb one second too late. They're in a good spot at least, despite having blown through a lot of cooldowns, effectively throwing them away for free. If Method Orange can at least just clean it up, the strategy may work for them. Definitely could, but this is how game number two looked as well. Where it seemed like Method Orange like, had a massive lead in terms of pressure, in terms of damage, in terms of mana. But at the end of the day, Mez in late dampening, he's just so, such a vulnerable target. So for Super Frogs, they just have to hold on for dear life until 40% dampening or roughly that mark. And that's when they can really start pressuring down Mez. And if he can't stay in the open, if he can have maximum uptime on Wealthy Man, eventually Cubsy does get a chance to recover. But so far, things are looking really good for Method Orange. Wealthy Man does have both of his ice blocks, but if you look at Cubsy's mana, it's not doing well. Once again, Rain from Above gonna be used by Trill as he's looking to connect those fell lances onto Wealthy Man. This could be the first ice block. Polymorph spam on that. Is Channel gonna be able to deny any of that damage with fear? Doesn't look like it. Chaos Bolt gonna be landing. Wealthy Man trying to drag Trill and Mez out of line of sight, but Sidu, he's not falling for it. He easily chases and reconnects with his team to back them up. All right, let's see if they can pull it off. They've got a significant mana lead, and dampening is ramping up, and they've shown momentum. And that cooldown blunder that they had earlier is 20 seconds away from basically not mattering anymore. Although, in this 20-second window, maybe Super Frogs just pin out a kill and close out the series. Mez ducks around the corner with Sea-Doo, catches a couple of heals, then charges out. I'm curious what Mez is interested in going after. It appears that Trill wants to go after Wealthy Man, but Mez was attacking Channel. They grip Wealthy Man into the pillar. He just walks it off. He wasn't even snared. He's able to easily escape. They go for a Gladiator's Maledict on that? The Method Orange are so sloppy in this position. Maybe ultimately it won't matter if Cubsy can't regenerate his mana, but moving forward for the rest of the series, they can't afford to play like this on a large map. Cubsy still trying to create some space as he leaps away from Mez's ghoul. Looking to get out of combat, get in cat form, regenerate some mana, but Earls. Wealthy Man is just getting low. Trill's Temple up in the air. Deny, but Trill with a lot of damage, so Spell Lance is really ripping in. Could be the first ice block, but no, Cubsy denies with the anti, or sorry, with the Iron Bark. Anti-Magic Zone gets dropped out by Mez to avoid some damage. Method Orange still doing a great job. CD's mana is looking good. Wealthy Man not been able to get out too much counter pressure in this situation. Channel trying to set his team up. Lands one chaos bolt on Trill. Lands a second. CD forced to trade up the spear uh, and to keep his team alive. All right. Wealthy Man dips low, still has two ice. Cubsy, is he getting mana? He gets interrupted on Frost. He has to stop the drink to heal, but he doesn't have mana to heal. Devastating moment for the Super Frogs. First ice block is forced. Method Orange have all the momentum at this point. 
Still with Darkness, Anti-Magic Shield to exchange for a big push if they can just stay on target. Method Orange need to go all out. This is where you have to calculate. Is 23% dampening enough to commit the rest of Sidhu's already dwindling mana? The Temporal Shield saves the day for now. Cubsy is still rotting down. Sidhu gets feared up, no tremor. Let's see if Wealthy Man can get in there for a Polymorph. Doesn't uh -oh. look like it. Bell Lances are crushing Wealthy Man. Too much damage. Method Orange put a point on the board, but moving into bigger zones like Tolveron, I don't think they can afford the mistakes that they made. Big name teams uh, battling it out for that seeding. Yeah, I, I mean, the Mew Mew Kitty Cats have the dream scenario right now. They just have some of their opponents that, who are going to knock each other out, and then probably the team that they sent down to the lower bracket clean up the other opponent. Mew Mew Kitty Cats are just waiting for their next game, but first, Super Frogs or Method Orange, who's going to take Tolver on Arena? Wealthy Man gets gripped into the fight early on as Method Orange try to punish that overextension. Wealthy Man able to escape to center field with a blink. Channel on left side. Wealthy Man are actually both of them moving to the right side. I would like to see Channel Wealthy Man split up, get that triangle going, try and pin down Method Orange. Method Orange realize they're getting closed in on. They're trying to cross center field, reposition. Cubsy catches Sidhu while they cross the map. Chaos Bolt connects, and Sidhu is likely to be the target, at least before dampening, whenever the enemy team of Method Orange crosses into center field. Super Frogs will look to punish. Not too many cooldowns forced on that first crossing. Channel repositioning the Demonic Gateway, and that is so that when his teammate gets death gripped in, he can then use the Demonic Gateway to escape to safety. So good presence of mind on Channel's part, making sure that their defense is solid, even though Method Orange are focused so heavily on stalling. Method Orange again trying to cross center field. Cubsy looking to intercept with entangling roots. Not able to get any sort of interception there. Sidhu's grounding totem denying it, but Cubsy does land a stun on Mez. Blizzard holds Mez in position. Nope, not able to sneak away out of line the site, catch a quick death strike off of the Fell Hunter. Potentially Channel should not be running with the Fell Hunter in the fight so that Mez does not have a death strike target. But at the same time they want to make sure that they can keep the team in combat and deny any sort of drinks, although unlikely that a drink is necessary unless Chaos Bolts are connecting. Cubsy on this map will be repositioning, drinking, and regenerating mana and looking for a late game uh, advantage through that regard. Cubsy now sneaking across the map, looking for a stun, waiting to see if Method Orange decide to cross center field again. Channel and Man both chains of ice. Very difficult for them to get in anywhere at this point. They're just waddling their way over, trying to get in line of sight. They've got them pinned, so they have to make a decision. Are they going to cross center field again, or are they going to stay at this pillar? Wealthy Man Channel closing in, slowly but surely. Cubsy moves in, gets a stun on Sidhu. He is likely to be the target, but in Ghost Wolf, able to heal back up quite effectively. Now Wealthy Man overextended, has Temporal Shield rolling, so can't all the damage, healing himself back to full. Both teams trading efficiently before dampening. No real lead establishing itself just yet. Yeah, Cubsy's mana is the main thing I'm going to be looking at in this matchup. In the last game, when Cubsy was out of mana, that's when Method Orange could start finding large amounts of pressure. And it seemed like on Taller and Sewer, what Method Orange's main game plan was is waiting till dampening and then making an offensive push. With the healing reduction, that's when they could force Cubsy to stay in combat, stay in range, hit a lot of damage on the Wealthy Man. And that might be exactly what Method Orange is looking to do again. Just pick their moment at 5, 10% dampening. That's when they could really move forward and start getting some damage rolling. All right, let's see if they can get it done. Method Orange reposition now at center pillar. Channel Wealthy Man trying to get that triangle. Cubsy constantly looking for stealth as well to get stuns for the team. Channel, this is better positioning. Wealthy Man far right side, Channel far right left side. They get closed in and get crowd control, reverse magic. No, it actually just broke to damage, unfortunate. For the team of Super Frogs, maybe they could have built something off the back of that crowd control, but I like this positioning a lot better. At least one wizard can cast freely at Method Orange. Blizzard Frozen Orb pinning him down. They're trying to escape. Channel overextends a bit to try and get some damage out towards the opposing team. How much can he get done here while Method Orange strictly focus on avoiding the fight as long as possible? The main reason for this is that CD will have mana to purge later in the fight, but he gets clotheslined. Huge damage follows that up with a Gladiator's Maledict Assault. Grounding Totem removed. Another Gladiator's Maledict gets dispelled. Is there a third? Doesn't look like it. They switch their attention to Mez instead. Yeah. What are they going to do? Mez, can he recover? It's caught in middle field right now. 
Wealthy man looking to deny a lot of damage with the temporal shield. So as these icy veins, super frogs, they've been holding on to a lot of their offensive cooldowns, and I think that's probably the best thing that they can do in this particular situation. When Method Orange does decide to get aggressive, that's when Channel and Wealthy Man can kind of slap them away with the icy veins, as well as the infernals and the dark soul. They're very powerful offensive cooldowns. And that's when Method Orange is forced to run away. Cubsy can sit down for a drink. So I think patience with their major offense is something Super Frogs definitely needs to consider in this matchup. But it looks like Channel, he's going to be deciding to use his Infernals at this particular point in the match to try to get some damage rolling. Right. Sidhu trades Astral Shift on that swap. Now maybe with uh, Icy Veins, they could get a kill on Sidhu. They need to be ready for that. That's definitely an option for the Super Frogs as we etch closer to dampening. Etch has now entered the battle. Cubsy's mana is significantly lower at this point. The lead establishing itself for Method Orange. Their strategy appears to be working so far, but Super Frogs could turn this game on its head if Sidhu even makes one mistake. Now yeah, we'll have to see what Sidhu can get done as Sidhu charges forward. Conduit Polymorph, Reverse Magic, going to be used by Trill to free him up. That allows Sidhu to stay on top of Cubsy and Method Orange. They're impressing me. They're playing the strategy a lot better. Cubsy hasn't been able to sneak away and get the drinks we've seen in the past. Although now Mez caught in center field. Then Immortal Coil, is there any damage to follow it up? What is Mez going to do? Sidhu still getting caught in midfield with the fear. Now into a full polymorph. Cubsy still trying to sneak away. But Mez with excellent pet control keeps him in combat and denies him from drinking. Good pet control so far, good stall tactics by Method Orange here as they look desperately to advance to a game five as a lot of points are on the table potentially for Method Orange to qualify later in the year. So not surprising to see them do everything in their power to stay alive in this tournament. This composition has been one that they have not been able to find an answer to for quite some time in this first spring season. So perhaps finally they have an option here and they're trying to take full advantage of it. but. Met Sidhu Cotton Crowd Control, Mez gets bursted. Best cooldowns to trade is holding on to them. Death Strike going to be effective. That magic 40% marker not there just yet. And Mez is likely to recover, although tapped on Runic Power. Mortal Cold away. Anti-Magic Shield will be exchanged for that attack. Was not the Icy Veins, was not the Infernals. Mez still continues to get hammered. And this is the composition advantage that we expected from the Super Frog. So Sidhu's team, they went for an all-in at around 20 or 23% dampening. Uh, this is likely to be the case again here in game number four, but if they cannot find a kill in that window, I do see Mez falling. I could easily see Mez falling as well. With that Death Strike healing reduction, Super Frogs can definitely capitalize on that. Cudsy was able to recover some mana. Once again, Rain from above going to be used by Trill, just looking to maximize his damage in this matchup on a wealthy man. As you can see in him using those fell lances, actually pressuring down Cubsy a little bit, but I think that's just good to force out a little bit of mana from Cubsy. If you get Cubsy low, then you can force him to put full effects on him. Mads and Immortal Coil, though, is taken down, and that is the main problem. Oh. Set up Super Frogs. They're going to be moving. Feed versus the fake Zebras. We're all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in Battle 